here is a Mohawk midget tape recorder. And this came as an entire outfit. I got all the documentation for it, the genuine leather holster, and the microphone case, microphone, telephone pickup coil, amplifier and AC power supply, and the instruction manual. I've never seen anything like this before. This, it's just built like a tank. This handle is here to rewind the tape. And you can detach it up like that. You rewind it kind of like the film rewind on a 35 millimeter camera. Here's the tape cartridge. It uses a metal continuous loop cart. And you can see the tape coming out of it. Let's see where the tape is. There's the tape. It's regular quarter inch tape. It's got a big tape head. Sure, let's see what this says on it. Sure tape recording head. And there's the capstan drive. Now, if Battery Maker sees this, I think he'll find this interesting. There's uh, two batteries in here. This is a tube type unit. It uses this large battery, is the A battery and the motor battery. And then this little battery, I think, is a 45 volt B battery. Still got those old batteries in, which I'm, I'm sure are bad by now. From the looks of this, this looks like it was made in the early 1950s. It just has that kind of, almost has a 1940s era look to it. Here's a control panel. This is the microphone input jack, record level or volume record and play switch. This is the output jack here and this is the midget tape. I have to see if I can get the screwdriver and take the bottom off, see what kind of tubes it's got in there. And here's the instruction manual. Let's just take a look inside of this here. A precision built tape recorder, battery operated, pocket sized record for one hour, instant warm-up. There's a, another look at the batteries. Burgess B battery. Loading batteries, loading cartridges. And What's interesting is some of these accessories here. It's got a telephone pickup coil and a wristwatch microphone for making secret recordings. <laughs> Probably have to put this inside the uh, inside pocket of your suit uh, jacket or whatever to have a have it for a portable recording. This thing is heavy. <laughs> it's just real, real dense and heavy. But it came with this uh, amplifier and power supply unit. It looks like there's a 50C5 tube in there. There's some kind of a tube in there. There's probably a selenium rectifier. And a, I don't know if there's a power, tra yeah, there's a little power transformer in there that might, might be. Or may just be an AC-DC unit with an output transformer. I think I can actually make this work. We'll just uh, replace old capacitors. And since it's got an AC power supply, I won't need to depend on batteries to make it, make it work. Although, I wonder, this, let's see, I guess this may even just be an amplifier, come to think of it. Because I don't see a power output jack. Oh well, I may have to try and rig up some batteries for it, trying to determine what voltage of batteries this uses. I thought this was real interesting. Never seen anything like it. It all came in this little case here. Here's the inside of the Mohawk midget tape. It uses sub-miniature tubes, which you can see here. 
looks like somebody did some re-soldering on the wires to the tape head. It's got a tiny audio transformer here. And then down here, I think, is the motor. Power is transmitted through a metal belt up to a flywheel, which is under here. Then it goes to a rubber belt to the take-up reel drive. Here's the battery pack. Batteries attached down here. Here's the cartridge. Now this must not be a continuous loop. This must actually have two reels, one over top the other. And it's real heavy. Well, not terribly heavy, but heavy for a cartridge. And then this whole mechanism just slides back into this case. Here's the date of manufacture. February 21, 1956. Although something about this has more of a, almost has a 40s look to it, maybe more than 50s, but I guess this is maybe not cutting edge 50s design style, but it, it's, it seems kind of late for how it looks. But it'd be interesting to try and see if I can get it to work again. Here's another interesting thing that came with it. It's kind of an unusual earphone. Looks like this clips around the outside of your ear, and this plugs into the output jack of the midget tape. 